breaking, authorities tried to hide who was in the room directly above Vegas shooter, here's why. It looks like it's 9-11 all over again. As we reach the two-week mark in the Las Vegas shooting mystery, Americans find themselves still asking, even more, questions as to what happened on that tragic night where 58 people lost their lives and over 500 were injured. In the midst of a range of theories and conspiracies, this week multiple internet sleuths noted the proximity between the United States allies government during both this terrorist attack and the 9-11 attacks. Saudi Arabia For who knows what reason Saudi Arabia is still being considered a close United States ally and friend. Although they are notorious for their human rights violations and hatred towards the West. The Foreign Policy Initiative reports. FPI Bulletin, Saudi Arabia and Terror Financing This month, Saudi Arabia launched massive military exercises that underscore its recent offer to send ground forces to fight against ISIS as part of a U.S.-led coalition. While Riyadh and Washington share the objective of destroying ISIS, our counterterrorism priorities are not always aligned. Therefore, Riyadh's recent moves justify a re-examination of whether and when the Saudis can serve as reliable partners in combating violent Islamic extremism. Despite allegations that the monarchy has directly supported violent extremists such as Al-Qaeda, there is no public evidence supporting this charge. However, Saudi Arabia's mixed record on combating terrorist financing over the past 15 years reveals that Riyadh is more concerned with its domestic security and regional feuds than it is focused on combating global terrorism. U.S.-Saudi Mistrust After 9-11 after it was revealed that 15 of the 19 hijackers on September 11, 2001 were Saudis, the Saudi government and royal family were the targets of multiple lawsuits by employers and families of the victims. Prominent U.S. lawmakers also indicated concerns about Saudi Arabia. Senator Mitch McConnell, Arkey, observed that the United States in some ways, have had a good relationship with, the Saudis, over the years, and in other ways. It appears as if they're funding our enemies. Amid legislative proposals to compel Saudi cooperation, Senator Chuck Schumer, DNY, criticized Riyadh for a well documented history of suborning terrorist financing and ignoring the evidence when it comes to investigating terrorist attacks on Americans. A December 2002 report by the House and Senate Intelligence Committees investigated these issues but 28 still classified pages related to Saudi Arabia resulted in controversy over whether Washington protected Saudi government figures. Despite such controversy, the 9-11 Commission report found no evidence that the Saudi government as an institution or senior Saudi officials individually funded, Al-Qaeda. However, the Commission also noted that Saudi Arabia has been a problematic ally in combating Islamic extremism. At the level of high policy, Saudi Arabia's leaders cooperated with American initiatives aimed at the Taliban or Pakistan before 9-11. At the same time, Saudi Arabia's society was the place where Al-Qaeda raised money directly from individuals and through charities. The report states that although it did not find evidence to incriminate Riyadh, this conclusion does not exclude the likelihood that charities with significant Saudi government sponsorship diverted funds to Al-Qaeda. Before the 9-11 attacks, the Saudi royal family had long shied away from cracking down on private donors and foundations linked to terrorist financing, primarily to avoid confrontation with the powerful ultra-conservative clerics in the kingdom and their followers. After 9-11, Riyadh remained reluctant to help the U.S. Treasury Department dismantle international terror funding networks with links to donors and foundations in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia steps up after new terror threats in the kingdom. Saudi Arabia's complacency was rocked in 2003 to 2006 